What's going on guys and for the win here we are back with our franchise mold as the Seattle Vikings We're picking up where we left off here just had the expansion draft and the entry draft now We're in the free agency period just deciding if we want to sign anyone probably will make a few trades We have so many of those like mid defensemen way more than we need So we're I think we're definitely gonna make some trades. There. I don't think we're gonna sign anyone here in free I mean we kind of need to spend money in free agency, but We'll figure that out. We could also take on uh, some contracts here. So first things first, we're going to look uh, to trade a few of these guys because we need some other players. You know, we got great defense and then not so good of anything else. <laughs> Our forward core is uh, very, very weak. So I'd like to get at least, you know, some usable forwards here if we can. And hopefully we'll be able to do that with some of these guys that we have. Uh, defenseman wise now I'm gonna gotta c consider who I'm gonna use I think I'll use Giordano I don't think no one's gonna want that contract so we're gonna use Giordano probably gonna use Jake Muzzin as well that's gonna be our one and two on the left side and on the right side it's probably gonna be well probably Larson I think I'd want Larson um and then Eckholm maybe or Man or Manson I might go with the younger guys. Yeah, defense. Um, and yeah, we got a defense. What's Larson? Two way still? No, he's a defensive defenseman now. All right, so we could keep the two defensive defensemen. Echo might not be bad though to have as like a two way guy. Really good. Uh, defensively still, with a better offensive upside. So I might keep Ekholm then and trade like Manson. Yeah, I'll hold on to Larson for sure. Maybe trade Manson, obviously trade Myers. Uh, Osterley, I think that's how you pronounce it. Someone tried to correct me. I'm, I'm, I might be wrong, who knows. Osterley, is that what you're saying? <laughs> and Juice, De ooh. So I'll probably have to pick and choose between one of these guys. Well, if I'm playing, if I'm keeping Muzzin, or I could trade Muzzin. I could do that, too. Hold on to Giordano, actually trade Muzzin, and then use uh, Osterley and Juice as top two, top four. <laughs> My goodness, we have so many. And then here we got two guys for the top six. Yeah, Jensen and Schlemko. And then we don't need, or we could hold on to Pelik. And trade Shlemko. Yeah. Uh, I'm just trying to figure this out. Get a feel for it. So, basically, we could trade Myers, Muzzin. Or we could hold on to Muzzin for, you know, to have a good team and trade one of the other guys. But, I was thinking. Thinking that I might want to hold on to them. I don't know. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Ugh. Yeah, man, I don't know. This is a tough call. <laughs> this is a really tough call, but I think if we want to use both Juice and Osterley, we should uh, hold on to Muslim. But Osterley doesn't actually have much room or room to grow, so I could actually trade uh, him and hold on to Muzzin. Because Muzzin's on a kind of a good contract, as I recall. Yeah. Osterley would have to... He's on his last year here, so... Might be prudent to trade him. If we want to have a slightly competitive team, I don't know if we do. But maybe not. Maybe we should just trade him and use the other guys. Use the younger guys. It's a tough call for sure. But let's let's trade what we know we're going to trade first. Like Tyler Myers is for sure going. So, who else? Maybe I could package a couple together. We, we should be want to bring back some salary though. Because you know, we're going to run into that problem. Okay, at home. I don't know if we're keeping him. I say we should keep Larson. Manson, I can go either way. Maybe I should trade Manson. It's a lot of cap going out. So we would need to bring some back. Definitely. Alright, let's, let's put Bartuzo in this deal then. Since that's... We're going to need to sign someone. I mean, we could always sign someone for, you know, a lot of cash. We also need to be... Ca okay, here we go. The Leafs, they need defense. So we can give them Tyler Myers and Bortuzzo here. 
That actually should improve their team quite a bit. Are you serious? Oh, yeah, 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 because we're back in the... Yeah, I was like, wait, where's Tavar? Yeah, we're back. <laughs> Took me a second. Took me a second to kind of remember that. This is... <laughs> this is off the timeline. All right, so maybe picks. So I do want some offensive guys, but they're not really willing to give much up here. Like, at all. Yeah, so this one might have to be for picks. We could trade some more for uh, some players, but... You don't know. I'm a, I want some players. Who can take these guys? Sharks. Can, why do the Sharks want defense? They're fine. Uh, Nashville can. Sorta. Let's see what we can get from Nashville here. They don't really have any good defensive players besides Forsberg. And yeah, no one's going to want to give up this stuff. I might as well. You know what? I, I might go for the tank here. Now that I'm looking at it. I would love some offensive players, but I'd also love the draft pretty damn heavily. And it's not looking like there's going to be that much available. I'm trying to match blocks here, but that might not be in the cards at all. So we're going to kind of have to adjust from that. And we're like, well, they want to give a backland. Backland could work out. Six years, though. Ooh. Picks might be better. Bennett, no. There's no way they give up Monahan. Yeah, they are not going to want to give much up. Now, Boston, again, they're probably not going to want to give anything up. Not, yeah, definitely not. Yeah, we might just have to go for picks here and kind of build, build from the bottom. I was hoping to maybe pick up some guys, but that does not look like it's going to work out. So I'm going to try to trade a couple of these guys to Calgary. Because... That could actually help him a bit, for sure. And we can get some picks for this, definitely. So we should usually be able to get their maybe two firsts for these guys. Now that's going to be close, but they don't want to give it up, and it's not on the block, so it might not go through. But we'll try it anyway. Yeah, trade reje rejected. They're not a fan of that. Okay, anything that they need. I'd love to get two firsts, but we just might not be able to do that. All right, they want Staylock. They want both of our prospects. We're not giving those guys up. They actually have... Oh, sweet. Yeah, they don't have trade value yet because we have, don't know what they are. All right, no, they don't want any of our skaters. Yikes. Well, any other defensemen we can kind of give up here? If we're going to hold... If we're going to hold on to Muzzin, I might not now. But let's chuck in this Osterly guy first. We'll give him three separate defensemen for two firsts. If that doesn't go through, I mean, that's a lot. Of, that's kind of pretty much overextending to the max there. Doesn't get much more overextended than that. Hugely inflated by my scout, huh? Doesn't meet the block needs. Interesting. So they're going to give us... Let's just go for the two firsts. No, they're not even going for that. Hmm. Yeah, trading is going to be a lot more difficult in this one, for sure. For sure here. So, blocks. Let's just try to match some blocks here. Let's throw one in and go from there. So, Australia, what is he saying? That's inflated? Doesn't look too inflated to me. It looks pretty accurate on my end. Bortuzzo, though, probably isn't. Yeah, this is going to be tough. All right, but let's throw in Tyler Myers then. And go to a team that wanted him. Columbus, they can't afford him. I think Toronto might be the best bet here. That's funny. <laughs> Toronto, they have cap space. And that was only one year left, I believe, right? Yeah, so they won't really be hurting for this. Tyler Myers for a first. That should go through. I'm looking at that. That looks pretty good. Let's see if we can pick up anything later, or they're going to tell me things are being inflated right now. Nope, they got it. We got a first and a third for Tyler Myers. Hell yeah. That's pretty solid. Starting from the bottom. Okay, what else here? Could throw in Bortuzzo. Like I said, he might actually be inflated a bit. 
I want Larson. That's going to be one of our top on the right side. Can hold on to Ekholm. Yeah, I could give up Manson maybe. If we're going to have Larson, I can give up Manson. I'd rather hold on to Ekholm. So we'll give up Manson and... Osterle? Osterle, sorry. I'll just get him out of here so I don't have to mispronounce his name anymore. Yeah, I don't think... I don't think I'm going to want him. I don't think he's 82 either. It's, it might be inflated value, but... I mean, he might be. He might be even a little bit higher or something, but... I'd rather give it to Juice here. Even though he's not incredible, he's got a lot more room to grow. Could, could grow that value. Could be better for us in the long run, so... Let's do Manson and these... And uh, Osterle there. The Blues want him. They should be able to take him. That's very... Really close. We could take back a bit of cap if we... No, probably not. Alright, let's just go for picks then. So we can get that first. Easily get that first. Maybe even two firsts for this this one. Next year's first? Maybe. One of them's matching blocks. So let's see what they... You know what? That's That looks like good. It's kind of a bit harder to see the value on this one. Let's see, try to get another third in there. Maybe even a second? I highly doubt it. But you know what? Let's try the second first. Shoot your shot. Uh, no. Not where it needs to be at all. Take out the second. We'll still try to get something a bit later. Woefully insufficient. Okay. They like what... I'm, I'll, I'll try it straight up for these two firsts. Yeah, no. Uh, seriously overvalue what you perceive you're giving us. I don't know about that. Those are two solid dudes. Alright. Any more, like, weaker defensemen I have? We got eight defensemen still. We could trade Schlemko. Yeah, let's throw Schlemko into this deal then. Yeah, because we can afford to give up Schlemko. If we had Schlemko, then we should get those two firsts. Maybe some a bit later. So let's try that out. Third, I'll, t I'll chuck the third in there. I don't think we get that second. Not with the value they were saying. Still not able to get that. Get a five and a six. More than one guy for a single block need. What? Schlemko's not a top four. Okay, they like David Schlemko. But, yeah, I'll, I can't throw that guy in. And I can't really afford to give up forwards, because we actually need all our forwards, I believe. I'm not giving up that dude. Actually, we can afford to give up a couple of the lower guys, since we have a lot of the... A lot of the mid guys. Nelson, maybe? Yeah, he's not really getting much better. If this guy didn't have good defensive stats, I could... Never mind, he has good defensive stats. Who didn't? I know someone didn't. Dowd doesn't really. They're not horrible. I think it's Lear. I know he can grow and all, but he's really bad. I don't think I'm ever going to use him. We'll throw him in there. We have we have enough. I mean, you could have played him AHL, sure, but... Outlandishly optimistic. Yikes. <laughs> My scouts are not doing their job, evidently. I still want two first. I just don't think it's going to happen in this deal. Unless I send back a pick. Because, dang. We did get an extra three. We could throw in Toronto's three and give them that. That should work. No? Too far off. Holy crap. Yeah, I guess I just can't get two firsts for this. What about one of these dudes? Just one for a first. There we go. Okay, fine. I got Manson for a first. Or trade away Manson for a first. No. We can still give up Osterly here. We got three firsts this year. I'd love to look for a you know something from next year now. Especially for a guy like Osterley. Could bank him. Sharks want him. Sharks love trading away their firsts from the future. Let's grab it. From next year. That's not going to go through, but I'll try it. Not quite. Atlantishly optimistic. You want David Schlemko back? Yeah, you do. You want David Schlemko back. I'll give you David Schlemko back. He's terrible. He'll turn, he'll cough the puck up if you make it to the Stanley Cup Finals. It'll be great. They like... Yeah. Okay. Uh, apparently, Osterley... They're saying he's the same block. Unless they just need one defenseman. Unless that's what they're saying. Unless Schlemko is... Act no, he's top six. So, I guess they just need a defenseman. Okay. So, I can't really get that then. If I can't get the first... Maybe Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh should want to give it up. 
Right? Please have your next first on the block. That would help so much. Ah. I mean, I can get their one from this year, but I'd rather... I'd rather get one for next year now. Optimistic, blah, blah, blah. Let's see if Schlump goes in there, or if it's the same for every team. Last year, it was just they're matching uh, the same role, but two different roles. Yeah, no. Not a fan of that. Okay, I might just have to get it for this next year and hope for a lot of really good guys in the first round. Let's see. If it's not, if the blocks don't work and it don't match the blocks and we can't just get it like that, then... No. Okay, apparently... Osterley's value is not as much as uh, what we think it is. We'll grab Phillies from next year. And I, I don't think they're going to want Schlemko either if they're doing that same thing. But I'll try it. Maybe it's different. I don't think so, though. The way it's been trending here. Nope. Okay, so yeah, basically. I guess Osterley is a top six. That's kind of what it's appearing to me. and Not really a top four guy. That's at least what's uh, making sense to me here. So, should I get seconds for him or kind of maybe force him through? Maybe just try to force him through to a team that doesn't want either of them. Because then the value will actually sort of matter. Or whatever value is, is there. Let's see here. Might be able to get that first. I'd love to get the next year. Hold on. Let's try that before I just settle and get a block. Something on the block. Uh, no. Hugely inflated. Jeez. Alright, so. I don't think we're going to have much luck in that regard. I mean, we can see what other defensemen I can cough up here. But we're going to use those two. Still one more. Probably Bortuzzo. Yeah, we'll throw Bortuzzo in. You know what? If we can't get it for all three, if we can't get, like, one first for all three of those guys, that's a little crazy. So let's try to get a second in that deal, too. Making a lot of trades here, but it's also figuring out this new trading system. This is a good experiment for me. Hugely inflated. Can I just get a first? No. Okay, so what is hugely inflated here? I guess a lot. A block? Can I get a block match here? Anything. No. Hmm. Maybe I have to wait a bit on some of these then. I'd love to not, but it's just not working out. I, I can go for a bunch of later and mid picks then. A couple seconds. And I'd be satisfied with a few of these. Maybe two seconds, two thirds. I could live with that for all three of these guys. Still not. Holy shit. Not up to snuff. Really? Hugely inflated. Jeez, okay. I might just have to wait a bit, because... Some of this is just weird. I feel like I'd be able to trade some of those guys. Let me look at the scouting again. I know Osterle isn't very accurate, especially with the overall. The trade value is semi-accurate. So is Bertuzzo's. And Schlemko's is very accurate, so... That's what's kind of weirded me out. All those put together should net me a couple seconds, in my opinion. But maybe not. I'll try, like, one more team. And if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. Alright, if I can't get two seconds for all this, then... Of course, I don't have it. Let's just grab a bunch of mid-picks, then. See if they'll go for that. If not, then screw it. Yeah, no, I don't know. I'll, I'll wait on some of these. We'll play some of them. We could trade them throughout the year, at least get their, their value and stuff fully uh, fully fleshed out here. So, all right, I might sign a couple free agents here. Just a couple tough guys. Let's see. Um. Yeah. All right, let's see. Reeves, he's not going to be an 82, but I'm going to sign him. Because we have cash. You know what? Let's pay Reeves a shit ton. Just because we can. And we have a lot of money. And we kind of have to spend it here. We'll give him 15 mil for a year. <laughs> there you go, Reaver. You've earned it. 
Still have an, almost another 15 mil to work with. We can get Maroon. It's hilarious. How is he offensively? You know what? If he's not bad offensively, it's not terrible. We kind of do still need some offensive tools. All right, let's get Maroon here. Just for a year again. I'll probably give him, like, let's see. How much more do we have to spend? We'll have, like, 13 mil, or... I think 13 more mil to spend, so I can give him, like, 10. I don't have to give him that much. Let's give him, like, 8. Right, that's what I was counting correct. We did 15 of 28. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I can give him, like, whatever that was. And then we should be able to hit the uh, cap floor with that. That should get us to the cap floor. We definitely don't need defensemen. Not at all. <laughs> we got so many. We've traded a bunch already, but we still have more. So that'll be have to be something we figure out, but... Alright, now, oh yeah, one thing I wanted to address, a lot of people brought up uh, Corpus Allo was probably available in that expansion draft. I did figure that, um, I didn't mention it, I should, I probably should have, uh, but yeah, so the reasoning why I didn't really want to, oh, here we go, they want Schlemko a 5 and a 6 for a second, hmm, I'm not a huge fan of that, I like my picks. But the, I want to give it Schlemko for a second. Who else can I throw in there? Can I throw Osterle in there and get that? I should very well be able to. Maybe I can get another second in that deal. I know before it wasn't working, but... Give me like two seconds, man. I'll be satisfied with that. Interesting. There is... How how inflated is Osterle? Or is it... It's not Schlemko. Just, it can't be that much, though, because it wasn't, <laughs> it didn't look like it was that poor. I mean, I know it was overall. Maybe that's really jacking up his trade value. That's all I can think of is that this is really jacking up his trade value. Is those really worth only a five and a six, though? I disagree with that. Let me try to at least get a third. I'm kind of blind trading here. Oh, single trade. Okay. Can I just get the second for it? Yeah, fuck it. Um... All right, I guess maybe something we did, we weren't seeing with Osterley, something. And I'd rather just get him out of there and get something back. I know it's only a freaking second, but I'd rather hold on to my five and a six. We saw what we got in those mid to late rounds here. And again, I might take some L's here and there, some trades as I get used to it. But uh, hey, that's that's the break sometimes. All right, so we got Maroon, we got Reeves. Yeah, I don't think they were going to reject. <laughs> Highly doubtful that they reject that. Let's see how much uh, we're spending now and see if that should be... Uh, with, yeah, we got 8.1. Yeah, that, that'll be enough. We, we, we're, we're spending enough now. So I think that'll take care of free agency. We could still make some more trades, but I'm going to sim up here. Start getting the lines taken care of, I think. And then, and then we'll kind of go from there. All right, so I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, so tentatively, these are going to be the lines right now. I'm not really doing too much. This isn't quite my team yet. It's kind of a mix and match, and we don't, we're not actually sure about a lot of these overalls and stuff here. So I feel like I need to let some of them play to really get an idea of it. Especially Bortuzzo and Juice here. And then I'll really know what I'm working with. Because not too sure. Maybe the, you know, the value is like way off. We're going to have two lefties on the top two, but whatever. Our defensive core is going to be okay-ish. But yeah, as I said, uh, it's, uh, I'm going to have to figure this out. At least with the, uh, the overalls especially. Because that's the... Uh, so this will be a good experimentation year for us. I'm going to show you, uh, we got Warner. I'm putting him in as the backup. Now, we don't know anything about him now, though we, we know his potential could be cl very close to elite. So I'm going to want to play him at least in that backup role behind Staylock and see see if what he's able to do. Old Mark, I got him up here because, yeah, I believe this is where I'm going to want to play him. His role is backup. It's very close. Maybe it's a little off, but I still want to try him out. And at least give us an idea. If we have to move him back down, we have to move him back down. But, you know, shouldn't be... How, how close was overall? Yeah, three as well. So, he's very... He's kind of accurate. Kind of accurate to all this stuff. Everything else, I have no clue. <laughs> um, we'll have to kind of... We'll, we'll see what happens with that. But we do have a couple guys scratched. Jensen and Pellick, who I'd want to play. Goodrow is actually scratched as well, who I will want to play eventually. I wonder if they're scratched. Will we get them scouted too? Like, we'll see them in practice and stuff like that. If this seems a little off, don't worry. Like, for future ones, if the fog of war kind of seems too dumb or whatever, we can figure this out. But, I mean, at this point, like, what about training camp? Like, shouldn't we know what these guys bring, like, in training camp? Like, I don't know. 
That that's my one kind of question mark about this. Like all this off season, like are we really doing nothing with these guys? Like do do we not see them in training camp? Like that's my only gripe so far with it. Other than that, I think it's a pretty cool concept. I'll have to, you know, we'll have to apply it more and actually see what happens. So All right, anyway, um we're probably going to get ready to start simming here at least for a bit and just so we can figure this out. Like yeah, um I want to see do I actually have scouts? Yeah, I got 17. We're maxed out. All right, all right. So I'm going to go through this real quick. Make sure all the guys are at least in the right regions here. This guy's an A-plus overall. Where's his best region? He's really good in the Q. A-plus uh, a in the Q. This guy's already in the Q. What do you got elsewhere? A in the WHL. So I'll probably switch these two guys. Oops. That's... No, 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 no. All right. Um, right. I'll do in Sire Season. I can always... Yeah, I can always, uh, always switch that. Why? There we go. Figuring out it. All right, let's go to WHL for you. Yeah, WHL. That'll be fine. And then this guy, Bergeron. Let's, how's his assignment going? I'm pretty sure it's already this, and it'll just be auto scout, but let me just assign it anyway. And I'm just going to find prospects for now. Because that should be sufficient, at least. And then as we, as the central scouting report updates, we can start choosing specific players. At least that's what I've done so far when I've kind of been on my own. I don't know. Maybe there's a more efficient way, but we'll, we'll figure that out here. All right. Another amateur scout, USA West. Let's see. Uh, USA Central, you're a lot better at A+. How about this guy in the USA East? USA, he's really good in the USA Central too, but we need... Hmm. We're gonna need someone. Hmm. This guy was, what, a pretty good European scout by the looks of it? Really good in the extra league, huh? Yeah. But A is pretty good. This guy's already in the Liga. Or, is that different? No, no, that's different. Yeah, sorry, that's Scandinavia. Really good in the NLA, too. Okay, and this guy's good where? Extra Liga. Okay. So, I'll send this guy. I'm not too sure how many prospects are here. I'll just... I can always change them. I pretty... Yeah, you can always change them here. We'll do the entire season, but I gotta actually switch his stupid... Keep doing that. This guy get to the extra liga. Wait, is that it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we definitely are not gonna need him there for the whole time. So hold on. We'll we could change his uh his duration there. But will it? Okay. Let's say three weeks. There should be long enough. Like four weeks. I'm not too sure. Again, still still in the pretty major process figuring this all out. OHL, it's about as good as it gets for him. Yeah. <laughs> That's about as good as it gets. So most of these look pretty good. Pro Scout, yeah, whatever. I can assign Pro Scouts to look at certain players throughout, so that's not going to be the biggest deal. Price, I already switched this guy. No, I didn't. Wait, USA West. Better in the Central, but so was this guy. So yeah, I'll I'll put this guy in the central, I think, because that'll give us an A plus, and we'll at least have A's everywhere. I kind of like that idea. All right, U.S. Central. Confirm. And how long? Say probably five weeks. That was a bit more. All right, and I will I will edit some of this stuff out for the most like for everything else. I'll there's everyone's kind of good right now, besides this B minus dude in Russia. Where else are you good at? I would love to have a scout in Russia. He's really good in the rest of the world, though. Is anyone good at Russia here? But all these guys are in like A plus A places, man. So I don't really. All my pro scouts are... Yeah, my pro scouts will be fine. 
It just ugh. we might not really be able to skate uh, scout Russia. Besides, this guy it's a B minus though, man. It's not amazing, but it's not terrible. I do want someone in Russia. So hey. We'll have him in Russia. Alright, for the most part, I think everything else is kind of good. OHL, we're probably going to need someone in the OHL. We got someone in the queue in the dub. And I don't think anyone else, unless Sour is good in like the US. And then I could switch to no, not really. Nah. Alright, well, I might just have to stick with it then. Yep. Might just have to be how it goes. And again, we can switch guys throughout the year. If we get some areas scouted, and it'll all, we'll update it on the central scouting report and stuff like that. So that'll be our scouting system for now. For now. We can update it as we go. But other than that, I think we're ready to do a little bit of simming here. And see where that takes us. Yeah, so alright. Um, You guys can kind of see the lines. <laughs> so what we're going to have you do... Definitely make some predictions here now that you see what the lines are, what our team is kind of generally going to look like. Uh, so, if you, you guys are new to this, what you do is you basically choose one forward, one defenseman, um, and one has to be, and so you, you, you're, you're guessing who's going to get the most points. One can be for the team, and one can be for the league. So, on the team, let's say you think Giordano's going to get the most points. You can guess Giordano for the team, and then for the forward, you have to choose someone from the NHL. You can't choose it from the team. And uh, vice versa. If you chose a forward here, you can't choose a defenseman from the team. You have to choose it from the league. Like So, like, saying our Edmonton one, people were guessing a lot. McDavid's going to lead our team in points. And, like, Eric Carlson's going to lead the de defenseman in the league in points. So, that's how you'd do it. All right. So, I hope I was clear enough. And, of course, the last one is the best goaltender in the league. Who do you guys think is going to have the best uh, goaltending stats at the end of the year? All right. So, I hope I explained that uh, sufficiently. I always seem to struggle explaining that. And people get confused, and I, I just kind of give up at some point. I'm just like, I don't know. Words. Put some words down, and I'll choose a winner. All right, anyway. um, I say let's go. Yeah, let's go. So we could obviously continue to make some trades throughout this year here. But I'm really interested in seeing how our uh, prospects are going to kind of develop here. Now, I don't know if it's beneficial to play your prospects in the preseason. I can ask you guys that. I'm not going to do it this year, but if it is, you know, hugely beneficial, if you guys have seen a huge, huge difference, then, you know, I might want to start doing that. So there's the first half month and then to here. Okay. I think, unless I'm wrong. Unless we might not have enough games, but I think I was right. We're probably going to lose every single game here. <laughs> we're not a good team. And I don't know how we're going to score. Hey, we beat Vegas. We can beat Vegas. We lose to Calgary. And <laughs> beat the Sharks 9 to nothing in the last game of the preseason. 2 and 4 record in the preseason. Not too bad. Salary cap must be adjusted. Yep, 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 or whatever. We won in overtime in our first game. Oh no, that was the last game of preseason. Never mind, yeah. <laughs> Never mind. That was the last game of preseason. We win our first game against Penguin, shut them out, then we lose. We haven't lost in regulation yet. Okay. 1-1-1 one, one, and one to start things off. Not horrible. Burnaby's doing pretty damn good. People are liking ice time. And locker room chemistry's going up. Central scouting ranking. Okay, well, let's see. I don't know how much we'll see by now. Since our scouts are going out. Yeah, not much. Yeah, it's just updated. I don't think we have anything really uncovered. Not quite, but it looks like there could be... Franchise guy. We know about foot. He's not a grinder. He's likely a power forward. All right, cool. So at least we're getting some stuff uncovered. And again, auto scouting might be the way to go. Like you might just want to sign your guys regions and then just let them kind of go from there. I'm not, I don't even know. Like I, there's like numbers popping up there, like three, five. I don't know what the hell those mean. Like dude, <laughs> if you guys know what the hell we're killing it. Why is this team doing good? I'm actually not too sure. We shouldn't be. Very interesting. Maybe that pops up and means they're... Oh, hello. So there's our first injury. Jake Muzzin goes down. He'll be back November 8th. That's not too bad. So you know what? We could put one of our guys who are scratched in there. I wonder if they're losing morale. If they're losing morale, maybe that's a sign that they're better than... Okay, here we go. Here we go. We got these guys completely scouted. There we go. That was what's going on. Bortuzzo is only 79. Juice is a bit lower too. Okay, well, we're going to try out... Pelican here or Jensen who's the 
Pelix the lefty, huh? Okay, I want to get him scouted a bit. So let's put Jensen substituting all lines. That'll be fine. And then we'll sub out Juice and uh, put in Pelic for a bit, just so I can get him scouted. So we didn't, we, we don't play him. We don't see them scouted. That's, I, I still kind of, I mean, I understand that to a point. But what about practice and stuff? You know what I mean? Like I kind of feel like we should get him a bit like scouted at least. I don't know. That's my thoughts on it. We'll put fast in there. I don't know. Our team is so bad, but somehow we're doing good. Oh, Mark is a 79. Yeah, you know what? I was... Ah, uh, he's only got the fringe starter potential. That's a bit unfortunate, but I had a feeling that might drop. It was still worth a kind of a chance. Okay. Jake Muzzin's available. Don't need to put him back in. Let's wait till he's fully healed. That's a safer bet. We're doing good, which is really weird. I don't we I don't think we should, but we are. Okay, so Jake Muzzin should be back now. I did have it set to both, didn't I? Hold on, no no. He should that should have Huh. Okay, I it should have notified me right there. I thought it said November 9th. It should have notified me that he should be back in there. So that's a bit awkward. All right, so we should have those other two guys scouted by now, right? I'll attest to you. Okay, I see. How's Latest dude doing anyway? Stats. Two goals, ten assists. He had 12 points in 16 games played. How about Nash? 11 points. He was on the second line. Let's try Nash on that first line just because Latest is a bit worse. I don't know. Okay, we do have Pellick and Bortuzzo scouted. The potential's still a bit off. Jensen still isn't scouted, weirdly. Huh. He's giving us some problems here. Well, let's keep him in there, then. <laughs> Alright, we'll put Muzzin back in. I'm pretty sure he'd be fully... Yeah, it doesn't have the thing. Okay, I might have to mess with my settings. I should have... I should, thought I said it to both when they'd come back from injury. I guess I didn't. I guess I might have messed up. Anyway, I want to check my AHL here. <gasps> Holy crap, this guy's... Oh my goodness, he's 81 overall. Okay, Ty, I think we bring him up. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I should bring him up. That's incredible. So that guy that's got a full patty. Ooh, he's low. Oh, no. Yeah, so he didn't turn out to be anything. Yeah, that was a risk that we took. But he was a late round pick anyway. So he's not going to be anything. How about the goalie? Uh-oh, 47 overall. But he is elite. He is elite. He's got the role of other goalie. So I don't know if he'll actually grow playing backup. <laughs> I really don't know. He's really not doing good. He's not doing good at all. Other goalie. Like, will he still grow if he's not playing? Like, that's my big question. I can try it. I really don't know if he'll grow if he's not playing. He's doing horrible, though. I wish I could send it. Like, can I... Where's the ECHL, man? I wish I could send dudes down there. Like, his overall is really bad, though. That's pretty unfortunate. Holy crap, though. We should bring up, uh... Bring up Wayne Bo Walter Boyle here. And maybe even play him, like, second line. He's not... He's, wow, he's killing it there. 18 points in 16 games played. He's a minus 5, sure, but it's absolutely a wrecking face. I'm going to want to bring him up. Holy crap. Very happy about that. Let's send someone down, too. All right, well, we're going to bring up Boyle. Who do we want to send down here? He's probably Goodrow. Goodrow's depth. Plus players, Ski Viewer. He's doing all right. So is Pitlick, man. He's got 10 points. Send down the $15 million guy. Or we could send down one of our defensemen. I'm a little off doing that, but just Jensen, guys, really not getting scouted at all. He's two ways, so let's send him down. Screw it. Uh, Jensen has to go through waivers. Never mind. Let's not do that. All our defensemen have to go through waivers. Shoot. Who doesn't have to clear waivers? Oh, actually, pretty much everyone does. So we might lose someone here to waivers. But I really want to bring that get, that kid up. He's, I think, worth. All right. Well, if we lose Jensen, we lose him. <laughs> Screw it, man. Let's see. Did he say get sought? 
Uh, nope, he got sent down, so he's, he didn't get claimed. That's good for us. All right, where do I want? All right, so we're gonna move up Pyarvi. Do I have anyone who could just jump in here? Probably not really. Yeah, we don't really have much of anything. Or was the other guy better? I can't remember. No. Alright, and my best lines are AHL, actually, because I don't really care about it right now. Yeah, I'm going to best lines it. Because we actually really don't have anyone down there. That we really, uh, care about anymore. <laughs> Not really. Not after we just brought up this freaking stud. I'm going to try him first line. I really am. He's really freaking good. Oh, wait. No, no, I'm not, evidently. Uh. Hmm. Nosen's pretty good. I can sit Reaver for a bit, maybe. Alright, so. This is tough, because I still want to play Juice, but. Pelic's growing a lot more. He's old, He's younger, 24, as opposed to... Wait, or was Juice... No, wait, I think Juice was younger, huh? Yeah, we're just going to kind of switch him off. Now they're both 24. One's, Juice is an offensive defenseman. He's not that good offensively, so I kind of like to prioritize Pelic. Who's actually not great defensively as a defensive defenseman, but... Tough call. I can switch him off. They can both get some playing time. All right, but now I need to figure out where the hell... I might have to sit Reeves for a bit. He's a, he's more of a depth guy anyway. We'll scratch Reeves for a bit. Move Pit down. Move Nosen down. Even though Nosen's pretty damn good offensively. Not amazing, though. And we'll throw in Boyle here. And put him on some special teams as well. Take out Haglin. Put in Boyle. Alright, so we'll get that for him right now. And that should be sufficient for his lines. This is a lot more in-depth than it has been in previous years. I kind of dig it, though. Oh, look, it shows your last 10 right there, underneath your record. That's kind of a cool addition. All right, so we're almost done here with this month. We'll finish this off. Let's see how uh, Walter Boyle does in his first uh, games in the NHL. We're freaking winning, man. We're a complete cheese team, so I guess cheese teams still exist because we're evidence of it. I don't know how we're doing so good, but we are. Look at us just winning an OT. It's absolutely insane. All right, we lose twice there, so we're starting to fall back down. That's actually hilarious how good we did in the beginning of this year. I'm, I'm trying to get good picks and stuff, but hey, game has other plans for me. Another loss, get a point. Another loss, yeah, I think we're going to fall back down here. But it was a good run while it lasted, yeah. Bunch of L's right there. 13-9-2, though. <laughs> what the heck? All right, all right, all right. So we're still in the playoffs, hilariously. Let's see how the team's doing, because why the heck not? I mean, we're actually kind of doing okay. Uh, goals four per... Look at it. It's not amazing goals four per game, but our goals against is surprisingly good. Grubauer's holding his own back there. So if we could score a bit more, hell. Power plays, meh, not amazing. Penalty kill's pretty damn good, though. Yeah. All right, so that's looking good. How about player stats? I mostly want to see how Boyle did in his first few games. It's not going to have that many games played. Um, five points in eight games played. That's not too bad. Three goals. Plus one. Shoot. Look at his shooting percentage, too. He's taken 14 shots in eight games played. That's not that many shots. I'd like to see him take more, but hey. Wow. I mean, he's pretty good. <laughs> I'm pretty excited about that. Yeah, definitely. Okay, well, let's check progress reports. I want to see if those are any different. They might be. Um. Yeah, no one modified, I guess. Okay, I'm really not seeing much. Okay, now we got Jensen. So, oh, he's a depth gap. Perfect. Sending him down was the right call. But yeah, I'm not seeing any growth yet. At least that we could that we know about, which is interesting. So I'm not too sure. Maybe that'll pick up later. Who knows? But anyway, all right, guys. So. 
We're getting underway here. We're having a surprisingly good start to the season. I don't think that'll last, but Walter Boyle is definitely, definitely a bright spot here. Now, I don't know if I should play him back in his role a bit. And then keep him on the power play. That might help him grow a bit more. I don't want to rush him along, definitely, but... So I could try that, or you guys can let me know. Should I just keep him? Keep him on that line, because he's not going to get much 5-on-5 five five with those guys. That's for sure. So maybe I do want to just help keep him having a good-ish year. Yeah. Don't have much here. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Well, let me know about that. And that's pretty much it. I do like that that one goaltender's uh, elite, but he's going to be a project. I'm not too sure how to make him grow. He's only 47 overall. If, if, if I keep him scratched, will he still improve? I'm not too sure. That's kind of a big question mark. And it would be nice if you were able to see him grow without signing him anymore. But with the Fog of War system, I don't think that'll be a thing anymore. So it's going to definitely take a lot more work here to uh, figure things out but anyway this will do it for this uh for this episode so um we still got a lot to do we can still make some trades but we're starting to get everything kind of figured out at least how our players are and uh things like that so i hope you guys enjoyed this remember to leave that like and i'll see you in the next one watching my videos just isn't enough sin for you be sure to go over there on twitter and shoot me a follow and you could even join our discord server as well to talk with some of the other sinners out there the links to both are in the description